Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I actually just wanted to switch it up from the back to school like videos and make something different. And then I realized like, you know what? I have a lot of really cute clothing pieces that I haven't like shown in a haul that I've just been wearing like this whole summer. So I figured like, why not make a summer clothing haul? This summer, I actually went to California for like a week during June. And then for July, I actually went to Savannah for like a weekend and I rented out this super cute Airbnb and obviously with traveling there comes new clothing and styles and stuff like that So basically that's how I ended up with everything. I don't just like to go and buy things for no reason most of the time I was like, what is that? They're like cutting the grass outside and there's just guys like coming in. I don't know Okay, anyways, can they go cut the grass another time? Don't forget that there's actually a back to school giveaway going on right now on my channel. Just go to my last video and you'll be able to see all of the details in the description of that video. All right, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with this video because we have so many cute items to try on today. So let's go. So for the first item, I actually wanted to start off with the outfit that I have on right now. I actually got this dress when I was looking for outfits to take with me to Savannah. It is actually from Zara. I think it's honestly so flattering on my body type. The best part about it is that it was actually less than like $20. It was like around $18. I definitely recommend Zara. They're definitely a store that I want to shop at a lot more. I've been seeing this type of style of dress all over Urban Outfitters as well. It honestly just reminds me of like a really cute Pinterest dress. and. Yeah, that's, that's the item. All right, for the next item, I actually have... Um I actually have this pair of jean shorts from Dress Up. I am honestly, seriously obsessed with um, the little detailing that it has towards the bottom. I love anything that has to do with fringe. It honestly reminds me of just a very retro vibe. And like I mentioned, it is from Dress Up. So if you guys actually are interested in purchasing it, um, I do have a code that will get you 10% off just throwing that out there. And it was about $30, but honestly, that's really good for denim in general. For the next item, I actually <laughs> I actually have this black crop top from Topshop. Crop top, Topshop. <laughs> so I know Topshop's business is kind of going out of business in a way. But again, when I was shopping for my Savannah clothing items, I went into Nordstrom. And they had a whole like Topshop section inside of the Nordstrom. Which is honestly weird because every Topshop that I've been to has closed, honestly. But yeah, I saw this one and it was on sale. It was only like $15. It's super comfortable. The material of it is definitely not a material that would shrink. Okay, so for the next item, I can't throw this one in the air, so I, I, yeah. I should have probably taken that out earlier. Give me one second. My portable charger, of course. For my next item, I actually have this um, woven bag, but I never really got it until like this summer And the only reason why I actually got it was because um, it was on sale at TJ Maxx I definitely have been using this bag for a while, but honestly, I don't know if it's like an everyday bag for me It's gonna be more of just like a um, vacay or like brunch or like just taking it out when I don't need to carry as many items and the reason why is just because it could be a little bit tedious to just like open and close this all the time but overall I love the bag it's so cute and it's definitely like taking all of my outfits to the next level for the next item, I actually have this bandeau from Garage. Honestly, you guys, Garage is so underrated. Like, I'm not sure why more people don't shop there. This top was literally only $5. Yeah, like, I'm not even joking. I wish I could have taken a picture of the tag. And it did come in other colors, like white, black, and like a neon green. I'm not sure if it's still $5, but I'll definitely go online and I'll check for you guys. And I'll have everything linked down below that I can find. And I love the little um, tie detailing 
thing that it has in the middle I just feel like it makes the whole thing kind of come together I've seen this style of bandeaus like honestly all over Instagram and I will post a picture with it because I know I have one I just need to go back and look for it but yeah okay Okay, for this next item, I'm not going to throw it in the air because I actually am obsessed with it and I want to be so careful with it. So I actually got this dress. It's like a very silky, um, kind of like a light beige, almost nude color. Um, and I actually got this dress from Urban Outfitters. I'm pretty sure it was almost like around $60, probably a little bit more knowing Urban Outfitters. But honestly, it was so worth it. Like it looks so flattering on. The bottom of it kind of has this like nightgown type of vibe but the front part is what really ties it all together a while back on Instagram this type of top that kind of just falls like this was so trendy I never really found an item that I liked with that little detailing until I tried this on I'm seriously obsessed with it like I said a million times by now and I'm definitely planning on wearing it to like a fancy little dinner or just something like that with some like black or nude heels like it'll be so so cute and you guys will see that on the try on haul okay next item so for the next um, couple of items, I just have this bikini set. So both of these pieces are actually from completely different companies, but I actually decided to kind of pair them together because I thought they looked so cute. Starting off with just this top part, this one is from Zaffle. I ordered both the bikini set for like $10, but the bottom part didn't fit me like I wanted it to, but I still wanted to keep this top part. And honestly, what I love about it is that although it is white, it's not see-through, so it's just like the perfect material. And then this bottom part of the bikini is actually from um, from where? From Amazon. Amazon actually has some pretty cute bikinis. I definitely want to try a few more out. This also came in a set with like a leopard top as well. But um, in my opinion, it just felt kind of like too much leopard if I did decide to wear them together. I'll make sure to link both of these pieces down below. Oh yeah, and I also have an Instagram picture with both of those on, so I might post it on here. Follow me on Instagram, because that's where you guys see them first. Okay, so for the next item, I actually have yet to like take a picture with this and actually use it out and about. But I just got this kind of like pool hat. I've seen these all over Instagram as well, but I haven't had the chance to wear it. They'll help protect your eyes from the sun when you're like at the pool. I think it's great that it doesn't connect from the back just because it's not going to be too like tight on your head. And I actually feel like that helps it feel more comfortable when you're laying beside the pool, like to just have it on and kind of tilt this down for the sun to not like hit your eyes some people think these are really weird but honestly i think they're really really fashionable sometimes you just kind of have to see them on so yeah this is what they look like i don't know i just i definitely see such a cute like instagram photo with it and yeah i mean you want to protect your eyes from the sun right no super cute um and this one actually is from target and it was only like ten dollars so in case you're interested i will have it linked down below for you guys for the next item, I actually have another um, clothing piece from Urban Outfitters. Definitely check out um, Urban Outfitters like basic um, t-shirt little section. They always have these cute little pieces under like $20 for the most part. I just love how you could wear this with pretty much any type of bottom. Like you could wear it with like a skirt, a shorts, or pants. Like it literally goes with anything. These pieces make for such like good going out or like music festival season type of outfit. I do love how it's black just like black is like an essential color to have and I did get mine in a size large so you guys could have some reference with that you guys will see how cute it looks um, when it's on and I think I also have a photo with it so I'll attach that as well so yeah Okay, so for the next item, um, I actually have this little cute neon top. I definitely feel that neon was trending more like last month than it is now, but it's still definitely up there with all of the summer trends. I actually got mine from Forever 21 and I got it in a size medium. I actually got this one to take with me to California and I do have a photo with it. Again, I should probably stop saying that because I'm going to annoy you guys and you guys are going to complain in the comment section, but yeah i do love the little detailing that it has right here because it kind of shows a little bit but not too much because you know you want to stay classy never trashy 
and it is short sleeve as well and i do love how it kind of cuts down like that from this top part right here super trendy um definitely check out forever 21 for any like trendy type pieces just because you never know how long you're gonna wear it for since it is like a trend after all so I actually have one more clothing item to show you guys and then just two pairs of shoes and then we're done. For this last clothing item, I actually have this super adorable lilac top. This one actually is from Urban Outfitters. Again, I love Urban and their cute little basic tops. I love the color of this top. Like, I know this was the color of the year last year, but I don't know why this year I'm just now getting into it. It is more of a crop top, so it kind of lays a little bit like halfway through your waist. Obviously, you guys will see what the length looks like in the try-on portion of the video. And I got mine in a size large. Like I mentioned, I just have two shoes to show you guys and then we're pretty much done. For the first pair of shoes, I just have these kind of like woven wedges. I just love the texture of the shoe. This kind of like woven material type of espadrille has definitely been trending this whole summer. I got these from Lizard Thicket actually. I don't shop with them a whole lot just because it could be a little bit pricey but when I saw these shoes released on their Instagram I went in stores and I got it. But yeah it's such a classic little summer sandal platform type thing. I don't know. I just think it's so cute honestly. I did have a problem with the first pair that I bought. It did rip a little bit from the side right here. Just thought I'd let you guys know. But I actually went to go return the first pair and they have happily gave me another pair and this one has had no problems from like last month when I got it. Definitely just make sure that they don't look kind of used from the side here but overall you should be fine with them. I honestly forgot how much these were but I'll make sure to look that up and see if I could find it for you guys as well. Okay so for the last pair of shoes I actually have them on right now so let me um, grab those for you guys. Hold up. Look how short I am. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I, almost there. Got him. Okay, we got one right here. And then... And then the very last item from this haul is actually another pair of espadrilles. I actually love the color of these, like just the all nude type of platform sandal. And it actually does add a good amount of height to my um, height. Yeah, you sure need it. My eyebrow. <laughs> no, it was the other eyebrow. <laughs> How good's your focus? Oh my god, stop. And another very neat thing about these platform sandals is that you can secure them on your feet and kind of like tie them up a little bit in the back. What is this called? The buckle. <laughs> That's a buckle. <laughs> the buckle. It does come with like a little buckle and it honestly does help you not fall off the shoe in a way since it is really, really tall. And I don't know about you guys, but these honestly remind me a lot of the Steve Madden espadrilles. They almost could definitely pass as Steve Madden espadrilles in my opinion. I almost forgot to say that I got these from Dress Up. Again, you could use my code if you buy anything from there. And I believe they were like $30, but I honestly forgot, so I'll look them up for you guys. And I'll link it down below if they still have them, so that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to subscribe definitely don't forget to enter my giveaway for back to school i'll have that linked down below as well and also comment down below what videos you guys want to see because i genuinely want to make videos that you guys want to see follow me on my instagram to see all of these outfits in action and that's pretty much it i will see you guys in another one